Well, good afternoon, everybody. We're here at Arena Essex for the last ever PRI Bangor World Final, Bangor World Final number 48, and it's fantastic to see a young man with me whose brother has done very well in this, and he's a surprise late entrant, and that is, of course, 158 Shane Davis. Welcome, Shane, to, to Arena. So what made you decide to, to come back today? Just because it was the last one, so I've not raced at Arena for a long time there, so uh, I thought I'd give it a go and just have a, one last meeting here, really. Well, it's fantastic. I mean, you, you did win the Unlimited World Final, didn't you? Yeah, I did, but this Arena one, I think this probably be my 14th time doing it. 14, well, I'm not in it today yet, but I've done it about 14 times before been in the World Final. I think I finished twice. Right, well, um, I think Andrew Andrew won it twice, didn't he? Yeah, Andrew's won it more times than I've finished it. Well, the same amount of times I've finished it. I just enjoy having a crash in this meeting. Like We've always had a lot of enemies for this meeting and just really loved it over the years. Well, it is great, and of course we can't uh, have a chat with you without talking about your saloon stock car career. You, you really, I mean, I even went to Scotland to watch you race, so that, that shows you how much I enjoyed watching you in those. Uh, any thoughts about that? Because I know you've uh, you put that away for the moment. Yeah, I've put that to one side. Mate. I've literally sold everything, and I am officially retired now at the moment, but once I'm all settled and like in a house and that, I will come back to a formula, I don't know whether it be stock cars or bangers or what, but I will come back to do Saint full time again, I think. Well, that would be uh, great for all race fans. I, I, I might even uh, bother to go to another meeting then if, if you're going to be in it, because you always put on a show. I always remember back in the day when uh, your dad and um, uh, people like him uh, had got this war with the Suicide Squad and uh, we used to have these incredible meetings here and I just remember that it got to the point where basically you were the last one that was racing. Yeah, I just enjoyed the war in so much. Uh, Andrew, he went off, done his own thing, Billy King was sort of doing their own thing. They was there towards the end really but I did do a lot of meetings by myself and I just loved being outnumbered and just having a real good crash in there and I really enjoyed it. We was with the squad when you was warm with them, it was always a real friendly war smash hell out of each other off the track on the track but they always helped out off the track and that and it's it's real good to war with them lot i miss them days oh well that, i mean that's lovely to hear because the fans might have a, a different thing i remember when the tv program was done they uh, they wanted to make a big thing about it and you they really hate each other don't they and i said well no i don't think they do because i remember when you were a much younger person and the snotty nosed little kid used to come and help you <laughs> building cars and that was Paul Whiteman. Yeah. yeah, Paul was one of my main mechanics when we was kids and then obviously he started the bangers and I'm glad he went into the Midnight Runners rather than the Suicide Squad so we've never really had to smash him up that much. But yeah, no, he helped me out a lot when we was youngsters. Now what's going to happen today then? If you manage to get through the last chance race, Paul has qualified for the main event. Yeah, he has, yeah. Uh, I'd like to see him win it again but there is other big teams in it and that and the way we race, we always end up war when we've when we're outnumbered, we always end up warring with the bigger team, so who knows what's going to happen today, but got to get in it first to see what we can do. Well, uh, I'm sure that everyone uh, would uh, agree with me that we really wish that you do, and um, we hope that uh, you have a fantastic day. Thanks for talking to us, Shane. Cheers, thanks, Rob. Well, we've had a wander around the pits, and uh, we've found a former Bangor world champion now. In fact, I think uh, he's been described earlier as a snotty-nosed little kid when he was younger. I don't know who said that, Paul. Might have been me, but here he is, Paul Whiteman. Hello, Paul. Fantastic to see you here today, but I don't know, it's a sad day, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a sad day. Obviously, uh, the last one. I wouldn't have been racing otherwise, but because of uh, my links to Arena, yeah, I decided I've got to do it. I don't have time to build cars anymore, so Tom Waller uh, built it for me. And uh, yeah, so hopefully it'll be a good day. Yeah, I think I've got a feeling it is going to be a fantastic day. The weather has brightened up after all the torrential rain that we've had. And uh, you yourself, though, I mean, I do remember you as a youngster helping Shane with, it, with his bangers back in uh, many, many years ago. And he's here today trying to get in the last chance. You've already qualified um, as a former champ as well. But over the last few years, a lot of people, if, they, if you say Arena Essex, they actually say your name. You've had a lot of involvement lately. Do you want to just uh, uh, tell us how much that has meant to you? Uh, yeah, that's, that's good to hear. Obviously, the only reason I'm, uh, my name's associated is because of all the charity work due to, to the mayor fund, which Arena have helped massively with. I can't remember the exact amount, but a lot of the amount we've raised has come through banger racing events and, and uh, stuff that Arena have helped us out with. They've been more than helpful and donated more than they had to. So yeah, it was all good, yeah. 
Well, absolutely. I mean, we're talking thousands and thousands of pounds, and uh, everyone uh, will will remember that incredible meeting. Uh, I think we were re great, great. <laughs> Anyone who think we're in the pits? That, yeah. Shall I carry on? <laughs> Always in, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, Boxer Jack is here. Yeah. Everyone will remember uh, that incredible meeting where it was, uh, I think it was 198 Granadas. We were remembering Ollie, obviously raising money for my mayor, and uh, and that was you. Uh, yeah, that was, that day couldn't have gone any better. Everyone, even people that uh, we don't always see totally eye to eye with who had the right attitude. And uh, yeah, that day, far as a banger racing meeting could go, was, yeah, was, was perfect, yeah. Well, I mean, it was the most fantastic weekend, uh, actually, wasn't it? Because we actually had a, there were so many that we had to put on a Saturday night meeting as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, and that was a good meeting in itself, yeah. So, yeah, as I say, it was a good atmosphere, yeah, it was, it was all spot on, yeah. Well, I'd like to say a personal thank you to you for doing that. And obviously, I've watched your entire career here. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not going to bet against you. Oh winning it for a second time <laughs> but um, no there's a lot of people out there and it's a, it's a big prize fund as well 1500 quid for the winner yeah. today yeah no that's really good um, maybe some other promotions should have a little look at that they have the, the bigger world final these days um, but yeah I'm, I'm not here to win I'm uh, I had my day in keeping up with everyone and everything I just want to be a part of it and uh, I'd like to say a personal thank you to you Rob for all your commentating over the years the best uh, best commentator by far uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But everyone will agree with me, I'm sure. So, but yeah, all good. Well, I must admit, I was very pleased when Arena asked me to come back for this one, and obviously uh, uh, the legends, Skeefy and Firecracker, oh, at the yeah, end as well. Yeah. So I, 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 I will be here for those. But and I'm guessing you're going to do Firecracker as well? Or? Yeah, I've got my Granada from Roy's meeting still, but I'm actually, I'm actually on holiday. I'll get back the Saturday morning from from Orlando, so it's going to be uh, a bit of a rush. A bit of jet lag on that, but I wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh, no. no, I think that is going to be an emotional day. But anyway, I think we're going to have a good day today, aren't we, folks? So thanks, thanks Paul. Well oh. done, and uh, have a good day. Right now, I've got with me uh, one of the drivers who's entertained us here at Arena for many, many years. 384 John Golden. Welcome, John. Today, Team Black Colours today. Yeah, that's it. I mean, in this team at the moment, because the old team that I used to race for, we don't do many meetings now, so I come here and it's have a bit of crashing and fun in life. Been coming here since 1993, so, and uh, just enjoy it all the time. Still got a bit of a buzz. Cars have got a bit faster, and we've got a bit older. Absolutely, and I understand you've uh, you got some interesting news about the Motley Crew and Firecracker. Yeah, we've got a couple of Motley Crew drivers coming back out for the firecracker. I'm coming back in my old colours for the day because we came here for the for the, the very beginning when it all started. So we're at the very end as well. So tell us about this car that your mates got, Lee Bradbury. Um, we've got um, a 1966 uh, Chevrolet estate car. Wow, fantastic! A 1966 Chevy, brilliant. All right, and John, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Uh, and we're going to walk down. We're going to walk down. Good luck in the big race, mate. Good luck. Wow. All the qualifiers going through. And uh, we're now with uh, a young man who has raced here, well, from almost since the day he was born. I am, of course, talking about double unlimited world champion, double PRI world champion, 331, Jason Jackson. Hello, boxer. Or should I call you the AJ of Banger Racing, Boxer Jack? Listen, um, we're going to go back in time. Where did uh, Banger Racing all start for you, Jason? Well, I raced here, I think, when I was about 12, 11, 12, when I couldn't even tell the steering wheel in the juniors. Well, I remember that when you were shorter than me. I do remember that. I remember things like that. And, and that was the juniors here, wasn't it? Yeah, that's when it was the Nab Bangers, and obviously, that's where it all started, really. Yeah, it's fantastic. The NAB Bangers, that's right, National Association of Motor Projects. And uh, as time's gone on, 
I mean, you must have some uh, some great memories. You had a lifetime in, in, in short circuit motor racing. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is where I started and this is what was my home track, do you know what I mean? But obviously, it ain't being thingy, but I've done everything I wanted to do here, so I moved on. And uh, you've done it, yeah, absolutely, and unfortunately, the track's moving on as well, or moving somewhere, but what about uh, today? Can you become only the second driver in PRI history to win it three times. Well, you know, obviously I love arena track, but I would always give it my best, so we'll see. Well, we certainly got a good show from you and the others last time I was here, and I'm sure that uh, there'll be some uh, people here wishing you all the best, and there might even be some haters as well. Yeah, you listen, in racing or any formula you do, you always get lovers, you get haters, so it is what it is. If you don't want me to win it, stop me. Well... Um, I reckon one or two of them might try, but trying ain't the same as actually doing it, so we'll see. But I'd like to say personally, Jason, I've enjoyed your career, and uh, hopefully I'll get to see you elsewhere at some point in the future. And uh, good luck today. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Right, we just picked out a few drivers to talk to, folks, but... Uh, while the uh, marching band were going round, we didn't want to spend two hours here, but we have to talk to this young lady because this young lady is uh, Sophie Facey from the West Country, and the last time we spoke, when was it, Sophie? 2013, was it my mini? It was 2013 in the minis, and I, I have to say this, I, I interviewed this delightful young lady, which is what you still look like now, by the way, and you were sweetness and light, you, you gave a great interview, and then the moment we turned the mics off, you had a go at some of the other drivers who were inspecting your car very closely. Do you remember that? I do, yeah. Nobody likes a winner. <laughs> uh, well, well, yes and no, yes and no. I tell you what, though, tell us about what you've done in the last five years, then. Well, last year I qualified for Ipswich World Final, the first ever time, and this year I've had a bit of time off, really, that this is my first meeting back for probably six months. Fantastic, and you've got uh, managed to get seeded into today's big race, so this will be your first ever PRI Bangor World Final. Yeah, I qualify for Inca Race because that's where I registered every year. Right, okay then, brilliant. And uh, you've got a bit of knowledge in terms of how to get a mini round here, front wheel drive. Front wheel drive, let's give it a go. So what do you think? It's worth a shot. Okay, well, fantastic to see you. Good luck with the rest of your career and good luck today. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, Leon, uh, sorry, Sophie Facey, and uh, we've also got, he's, he's, he's hiding, but we're not going to let him get away with it. Uh, this fella made a, a fantastic effort last time I was here, uh, came all the way from the West Country. We only had half a dozen bangers here, but what a show he put on. And obviously it's another rush job today, I think, in terms of car preparation. But can we have a big round of applause, please, for the defending world champion, number 74, Adam Hitchcock. Adam, welcome back to Arena. Uh, you won it last year. They tell me it was a great race. How, how much do you remember of the race last year? Um, I remember I was going pretty well, but uh, I wasn't on this, you know, as fast as Boxer and that. They were probably three quarters of a lap ahead, but when he was stopped, then it, I was next in line and, and off we went. It was, it was good. Well, there's a lot of cars in the race again today. What do you reckon? Are, are you incognito with this uh, car today? Well, the weather was against me. It would have been painted, but we build cars outside, so there was, you know, it was raining all weekend, so we had no chance, really. But, yeah, I don't know, it'd be all right. If the gap's open for me, you never know, do you? Well, that's right. And, and I think uh, yeah, I'd like to say as well, I've said thank you to a lot of people today, because, but I want to thank people like you, because you go all over the country, and you live in the West Country. I mean, how long did it take you to get here today? Uh, five hours, but it might have been maybe half an hour less, but I did run out of diesel just near the track. So we had, to, we had to get some diesel back in it and then bleed it up and we're on our way again. Fantastic. But I mean, you know, that's another thing you see, that the expense is, is enormous. However, I mean, last year it was a thousand. This year it's 1,500. <laughs> yeah, no, they owe me 500 quid, didn't they already? Oh, is it? Oh, have I just said something wrong there? <laughs> Well, it must have been. I only got a grand. Oh, I see. It's, it's, it's a good prize, though. I, I, know, uh, I know there's more to it than that, but I want to say thank you to you and people like you that do the racing all over the country, and I hope you'll, you'll carry I'm sure you will, for, for long after today. Uh, got any predictions for the big race then, Adam? Oh, you can't predict anything in Bangor Racing, can you? I wouldn't be so silly. Wise man. All right, then. There he is, folks, the defending Bangor World Champion, Adam Hitchcock.